Welcome back to another episode. Me, my buddy Julian, and of course Isla. We're out in uh, Nederland this weekend. As you can see, it's a little colder than last time I saw you guys. Yeah, we haven't been camping in so long. Life's been busy, so we just needed to get out there. We had quite the adventure last night. I'll roll on those clips. So we just made it into Rollinsville here. Okay. And so what I think we should be doing is going <laughs> up into this little region here. Okay, it doesn't seem that far. No, it's not too far from here. And then apparently there's some decent uh, uh, dispersed camping. Sweet. In that region, we can kind of just get lost. Dropping down to 20. Oh my gosh, so Julian just went through this huge deep ass water crossing, came out of nowhere, his car just sunk. It was all snow on top. He just sunk and I'm kind of nervous to hit it actually. He's coming over right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah, it's a river. Oh my God. All right, let's check it out. Dude, what? Why does it not have one? All right, so I backed up because uh, I don't know where my front toe strap like spots are. I don't want to risk going through and him not be able to pull me. So I'm, we're gonna play it safe because no one's over here. And uh, he's gonna come back through and I'm gonna go first because I have a toe spot from the back, so. <laughs> Nothing like a good old river crossing. Start off the night. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. Oh yeah, well, now that I have this time, I got a new car. I got an 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser, which is my dream car. So I'm super stoked with it. I'll get more into it tomorrow. She's a beauty. She's a little beat up, but I mean, it's older than me. So it is so pretty over here though. There's just an open spot right here. I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen snow in a while. Last winter kind of sucked over here. There was like no snow. Ain't that right, Isla? Just fun. You ready to get to the spot, huh? Isla just wants to snuggle. <laughs> Dad doesn't want us to get stuck. That would not be good, huh? You got your vest on? You warm? Nice and warm? Yes. I have the heat on here too, so she shouldn't get too cold. Right. I really don't think this uh, river's that deep, this crossing, but really don't want to get stuck in it so That was so sick. I don't know if you guys saw it from where Julian was, but I made it all the way through. And then <laughs> right at the end, I just got stuck and I was spinning. I had to lock it up, but we out, baby. Freaking winter river crossing. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, this is so sick. Oh, that ice is thick too. It's like two inches thick. All right, he's getting it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop showing off, bro. Like, like work. <laughs> hey, uh, Julian. Yeah. Your uh, tailgate's open. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have anything on there? No. Okay, good. <laughs> You're free. Whoa, snow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what do you think, Isla? You loving it? That, that stick is way too big. You can't get that. Okay. Or you could prove me wrong. It looks so homey. Wow. We started with just a fire. Yeah, dude, this is sweet. It's pesto mac time, baby. Bon appetit. Salud. Salud. <laughs> oh man, dude. <laughs> that was worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah, we should get him to get him to buy a rig. It's beautiful. He's comfy. I'm tired. Alright, so a little update for you guys. It's a few hours later. It's like about one o'clock in the morning right now. And uh you boy realized that um he forgot his sleeping bag. If we look at the thermometer, it's 15 degrees outside and it is just over 20 degrees in here. So yeah, I'm a little cold. Forgetting the sleeping bag is not ideal, but Isla has her sleeping bag. Someone remembered theirs and her vest. So she's nice and warm at least. I have this blanket, this blanket, and then a heated blanket that I'm going to plug into the goal zero and hopefully that'll get me through the night and hopefully the, the new GFC tent will keep me warm. Quite the adventure tonight. I am pretty tired though. I was tired at like four o'clock today, so I was just giving herself a bath and uh... That's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Sweet little camp spot. Thank you for the dope views. And on with the show. I think I like winter really more than summer really. So right now I have her in four low, that's it. Center dips locked, um, taking it slow. Not really slipping a whole lot, surprised because these tires are old, but there's actually a lot of camp spots in this area, kind of just little offshoots. This trail stays open year round, so if you guys ever want to do some snow wheeling, it's a place to go. Good camping spots too. Holy shit. So sick. This is Julian, by the way. He's got a, he's got a sick bison, not a Toyota. But that thing rips, I'll give him credit. Now that we're stopped, I think we're gonna do some bagel time because we're getting hungry. We haven't eaten yet today and it's like 10.30, maybe almost 11, so yeah. Oh, they sold so many accessories, dude. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. There's a lot. All right, just took a little pit stop. Had some uh, brunch, I guess. It's 11.20, now we're back on the road. Sick little view though.
Yeah, yeah, you just need some, some oomph. Well done, mate. Don't be afraid to rip on her. <laughs> Oh, that was so fun. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I hope I don't get snow in my car. Oh. <gasps> Little update for you guys. We just passed uh, halfway for this trail, so now we're coming down the mountain and uh, this side's a little gnarly, uh, very bumpy. We're starting to feel it, elevation, the bumps. Isla's definitely feeling it. So uh, sorry if I seem a little tired or out of it, but it's still a blast. If you guys do go and do this, make sure you have one, a buddy with you. You do not want to get stuck out here by yourself. Two, as much recovery gear as you can. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's a little bumpy. Like traction boards is probably my first thing I'd recommend. Uh, we also aired down quite a bit. We're both at 20. We also have toe straps, stuff like that. So just make sure you're, you're prepared if you're gonna do this. So we found ourselves in a bit of a, bit of a troublesome spot. This guy just smashed both of my mud flaps. So luckily they're kind of rubber, but uh, we'll dent it in right there. This one got the worst of it because I didn't see it. <laughs> of course, all the good stuff happens when, I, when I'm not rolling the camera. Okay, you didn't scrape on there. That's good. Take it slow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're sliding completely where you don't want to go. There you go. Oh, you slid into position where you want to be. Take it real slow. You're about to take like a big dip. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear it? Just had a little, little kid. Ah. Just a little, little, ah. little pecker. <laughs> <laughs> it has gotten a lot hairier and we are sliding over some really big rocks and hoping not to just keep going or get stuck. Hold up, hold up. Is it the hitch? On the edge of the bump, the steel part. Okay, I'll uh, try to just scrape through it. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I'll uh, see you guys if anything bad happens or exciting or on the other side. Okay, so I think we're through almost, I think we're almost through it, but Julian just got stuck. <laughs> He's like bottomed out on something. But look at how hairy this is, it's pretty bad. Like, that's the size of my hand. And I don't have any armor. He doesn't have much clearance. Don't follow my example. You guys should probably scout a trail in good weather before you hit it in the winter. But this is why you always bring some kind of recovery gear. And don't go alone. Yeah, don't go alone for sure. I, I would be terrified if I was alone right now. <laughs> There you go, you're, you're past what you were stuck on. Uh, yeah. Nice, bro. See guys, his uh, shock skid, he's got skids on it, but was hitting this and it was blocking him. So that's why you always wanna bring these. Just one helped out a lot. Life's good, man. Life is good. Not everyone gets to do this. I'm a really lucky guy. 
to thank you guys for all the support and comments, likes, everything. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I'm just gonna keep on doing this. So big thank you to you guys. We just got down the mountain. That was insanely fun, but super draining. So we are beat. So probably gonna call this episode here. We're just airing up our rigs before we get back on the road. Head out. Right out. You have fun? Yeah. I was happy to be out of the car. <laughs> You got dirt in my mouth. So yeah, that's it for this episode. If you guys like it, smash that like. If you guys want to see more, hit subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, see you guys next time. Good girl.